do you think we'll see a wedding in season three? Who knows? I mean, I, I literally don't know anything about season three. I've read the book, um, but we've kind of moved so far away from, from what the, the book is, that, I mean, the the framework of the books are still there. Mm-hmm. I mean, in 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 book two, Bill and Suki don't get engaged, so it's. It's, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think the fact that he's been taken makes it very hard to believe that there will be a wedding. I don't know. And would you like to see the Bill, Eric, Suki love triangle continue? Yeah. I mean, one thing that, about great drama is that you, 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 can't, you can't watch two characters be happy for, you know, sometimes half a season's too much, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I think there has to be obstacle was put in their way and uh, and I think that I think the Bill and Eric characters are great and Alex is a good friend of mine and he's a fantastic actor and we love I mean I love working with Alex and I don't get to do it as much as I'd love to so um, you never know whether they'll stick Eric and Bill in bed together I don't know but uh, here's hoping and it doesn't bother you to watch Alex kissing your girlfriend no I mean it's I she had to watch me kiss somebody else in season two you know it's 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 one of those things that as a as a as an actor you have to embrace the fact that I, I am not Bill and she is not Suki and Alex is not Eric and do you know what I mean it's yeah. it's you're just doing your job and uh, you have to make it as unbelie- as believable as you possibly can and if that involves tongues then so be it yes there is talk of werewolves in in Season three. I mean, book three is full of werewolves, mm-hmm. so it stands to reason that that there will be, you know, because we have followed the framework of the books, so it stands to reason that there there could be wares. I mean, uh, who'd have thought that we could go where we went mm-hmm. in season two and the series still hold together? There were elements in season two where I was like, oh my, are we really doing that? You know. Um, so if we introduce wares, I don't see why not. I just think it's a uh, it's more crazy stuff. Our show isn't about supernatural, mm-hmm. any, any more than Star Trek's about about going between space. It's it's about human relationships. It's about characters. It's about how people interact together, and the supernatural elements and all of that are are a framework for to create a way of telling the drama. And so I think with the with the actors that we've got and the writers we've got, you could stick anything in our show and you'd believe it. You haven't kind of read anything in the script like over the past two seasons and thought, oh, I'm not sure about this one. I think all of us have looked at bits and pieces and gone, really? You know, are we really going to do that? I mean, in season two, you know, there was the meat tree, mm. you know, oh, which we called Dimitri, right? I like it. And uh, it was Mishka Forbes who called it, called it Dimitri. I bet that smelled and disgusting. It smelled gross. And we had coyotes and stuff coming out in the middle of the night. There had to be a security guard oh, on, on site the whole time around the tree. Because it had started, I mean, the meat was taken off every day and put back in the fridge. Or I think it was fresh meat every day that they used. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> but, you know, you look at things like that and you go, oh my God, I hope we haven't gone too far. I mean, Sam and I talked about it a lot. Like, oh my God, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we making? But, but I do believe that our show and our cast and the writers are so strong. Mm-hmm. That I really do believe you could you could throw anything at us. We were talking, me and Carrie Preston were talking about the fact that you could it's like a rep company, and you could give them Leah to do one week, and you could give them Alan Aitborn the next week, and they'd be able to do it. Mm-hmm. And and that right there is the reason I think, apart from Alan's genius, that that the show works because Alan is also fantastic at casting, mm-hmm. and all of those peripheral characters that are kind of building up now, the Terry Belfleur and Chris Bauer who plays uh, Andy, mm-hmm. Carrie Preston who plays Arlene, you know, they're so strong. Everybody is brilliant. Mm. There's nobody you don't want to watch. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and I mean, it's, it's a joy to be part of it, to be honest.